Hi guys, Stribbers here. Welcome to my Project Gotham Racing 2 Platinum playthrough. Uh, we're going to be doing it on the Kudos World Series, which is the main campaign of this game. It starts off with the Compact Sport Series, which is front-wheel drive hatchbacks. Um, street Race to start off with. And as you can see, my game's bugged when you... Uh, switch through the cars on the normal menu, the screen goes black so you can't even see what you're doing. I don't know why it's doing that, but we've got to go into the actual garage to pick the cars. Um, three cars to start off with. We've got the Volkswagen Beetle, the Leon Cupra R and the Mini Cooper S. And there's cars to unlock in this class with the Focus RS, Renault Clio V6, the Honda Civic Type R. Uh, Volkswagen Golf R32 and the Lancia Delta Integrale. Um, and when you rank up with Kudos, you can um, get you get tokens and you can unlock those cars. I, I picked the Leon Cupra R to start off with. <clears throat> it's got a higher top speed and acceleration compared to the the Mini Cooper and the Volkswagen Beetle. And uh, there's quite a lot of straights in these tracks, um, so if you pick a car with a slow acceleration, you're going to not get anywhere, even if you take the corners well, because the computers seem to take the corners quite well as well, so they're going to catch you up. Um, and um, so you get booted up the bum by the Mini there, gets us ahead. Um, I've picked automatic on this game, I usually drive manual on a game such as Forza, but um, the this game's a bit arcadey, so even in automatic, it, it shifts up on the rev limiter. So yeah, there's no really, no real benefit from manual. It's not any quicker, and it's just one extra thing to think about. So usually I don't bother. Um, I'm crashing the wall there as I'm looking behind me. So I've already got quite a healthy lead here, um, taking the corners nicely there. And uh, you can see the kudos in the top right hand corner of the screen as we actually crash into the wall there and lose some. <laughs> the, um, the kudos you earn from, it's basically style points, so you'll earn them from drifting or taking a good line. Basically, good line comes up to 30. And you get them from clean racing, from getting good overtakes, and they're basically your points that you, you rank up with in this game. So the more kudos points you get, um, the higher the level you go, and then you unlock um, you unlock kudos tokens which you unlock cards. So it's basically the leveling system of this game. So you've got 100 there for the fastest lap, so that's 850 kudos there, just from the, the in-game kudos. And then we see we get 5,000 there for the platinum completion bonus. So instantly, because we played on the hardest difficulty, you rank up straight away. So we're on rank two two kudos tokens there to spend on any cars you'd like so that's the first race done the second race is a one-on-one -on -one. Um, so we go into that and I think I unlock the Renault Clio now V6 it's actually got the best acceleration in this class uh, better than the Focus RS even though the Focus RS is all round better I'd say but the, um, the Renault Clio, uh, I think it's because it's so light. I think it's about a ton, this car weighs. So uh, we unlock that. One kudos token, so it's barely anything anyway. Select blue. Uh, select auto transmission. And then we'll go into this race. So this is a one-on-one. -on -one. This is against the Lancia Delta, I believe it is. So... This car just catches this Delta up so quickly in this Lancia. You see by almost by the second corner we've really overtaken it. Um, getting used to this this game actually with the, the braking is actually pretty good. Um, front wheel drive though, I'm not sure if it is the front wheel drive or the game in general, but it seems to be quite a bit of understeer. Quite a few times I've bashed into the uh, the outside barrier, literally thinking um, I'm playing Forza. The turning seems to be a bit different on this, it's something to get used to. It's not a simulation game, it's a, an arcade game, so that's to be expected really. But um try the power slide here to see if that would that would work any better and clearly it doesn't as the Lancia's catching me up there. But you get a good amount of um, kudos for doing that, so it depends what sort of race you're going for. If you've got any easy difficulties, uh, you can afford to power slide and get more kudos and that's one way of doing it, but you can beat the platinum difficulty, I'd recommend doing that because 5,000 
per win is um, is a pretty good amount, and it's going to take you a lot of races to get that in the in-game kudos. So I'm managing to stay ahead here. It did uh, come up briefly behind us, but this car deceleration on the straight just means that you get a healthy gap. I'll take this corner better, cutting in the inside, and uh, nicely through there. Get a good line as well, so that's a clean race as well. Um, you only don't get a clean race if you bash into a barrier and then your kudos goes red at the top and then that signifies that you've actually uh, applied with the barrier properly there. So we ranked up again, getting more kudos there, more tokens. So I think we do have enough for the Focus RS. Yeah, we have got three, but the next race is a cone challenge. So I decided to go for the Renault Clio just because the extra acceleration. So the kudos challenge, you have to, oh, the cone challenge, sorry. You have to get kudos, uh, there's a kudos target within uh, within the race and you've got to meet that target by doing um, basically you've got to string combos along uh, with kudos so we go through cone gates and drift round corners to keep your combo going as you can see um, the white number is your actual kudos number and then the yellow number is the extra kudos you get if you keep your combo and the combo's got a timeout, so you have to race quite quickly to get from cone gate to cone gate. And you can cross this white line here, which gets a clean section, and then cone gate again. So you just keep doing this, and then power sliding around the corner. It's all about speed and speed and style around corners, basically, to link all of the uh, kudos together. And then we finish with a full combo, 20, 27 combo. And it's important to get the clean race as well, because uh, without that you're not going to hit the target. You see, we only just hit it by 53, and uh, it took me quite a few attempts to do this. As you saw my ghost um, car in there from a previous attempt, it shows you that, so you can see how you did last time. And then we ranked up again there, getting three more kudos uh, tokens there. So the kudos ranks at the top there, top right, it was 18,000. So we're going to the garage once again, and we've got six kudos tokens now. So we've got enough for the Focus RS, which is three. Uh, it's best best car in this class, definitely. So we pick that in blue, the Mark One Focus RS, and this is the one on one against the Volkswagen Golf R32, I believe. Yeah. So it's actually quicker off the line there, as you can see, but we'll soon pull it back with better acceleration. Quick break into this corner, suffering for understeer here again. See the golf's actually getting away there, but there's a long straight coming up, so we're going to reel him back in and then eventually get a bit of air there, start drafting him, and then cutting inside of this corner. Do a cheeky slide, nearly hit the barrier, but timed that pretty well. Pretty good corner there, so we just got to stay in front now. And one thing you do notice, which is quite cool in this game, is at the bottom right, underneath the speed, there is a um, thing that's called an odometer. So you can track how many miles you've done in each car, which is quite a cool um, feature to have in this game. See, so yeah, I took that. I could have actually gone a lot quicker through there. The golf takes that corner really wide to take his speed through there. A little bit of a power slide there, and it sort of points you in a better direction, sort of cuts out the understeer a little bit, so you can just fully accelerate out there. As you can see we're keeping a healthy distance from the golf now and just going to increase that distance, going over 100 miles an hour there. So, um, coming up to this corner again, didn't slide this time, didn't need to get in front of the golf there, so could have left that a bit later and gone a bit wider. But again, just getting used to these cars, getting used to the brakes, takes a few races. Um, so you've got, um, see, hit the wall there. When that goes red up there, you lose your kudos streak. As you can see, I didn't take that wide enough again. And the golf takes that wide, and then we complete the race there. And because I hit the wall, you don't get your clean race, so you don't get 250 kudos there. So um, that's that. 5,600 kudos. Again, 5,000 for completing on platinum. Three more kudos tokens. Kudos rank six. And now we've got quite a, th quite a few of these tokens for unlocking cars in the next series so that is going to do it for this episode guys next episode we're going to do the street races a couple of street races to end this uh, series 
the, uh, the um, compact series and the speed camera as well. So um, I hope you liked it guys, if you did please um, give me a like and um, yeah I'll see you next time.